how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Phil Helmuth. How you doing today, Phil? Fabulous. Really nice. Uh, well, thank you for joining us today. I feel uh, excited and kind of like starstruck having you on the show. Uh, I've uh, always watched you on television and been a big fan of everything that you do. And I'd love to know a little bit more about you and you're really well known as a record setting 15 time World Series of Poker champion. Congratulations. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, it's uh, uh, as one of my hashtags is positivity. Uh, that one I'm really known for, but I also have a hashtag PH nice life <laughs> for when I'm on jets and, you know, like, uh, hanging out with, with the biggest celebrities or whatever. I, I use that PH nice life. Hashtag. And you know, you're also known as being the poker brat. Why are you known as the poker brat? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to get this in there. My autobiography, um, which we've sold a ton of copies of. And, uh, and, you know, I, I talk about in this book, uh, wow, got Sheryl Sandberg on here, Tony Robbins, nice, Jim Harbaugh. Wow. Negreanu. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, I'm very proud of that book. We sold a lot of copies. And yeah, I talk about, you talk about the origins of the poker, Brad. For me, it's family. And uh, so just a quick story. Um, I'm the first of five kids. My father has a PhD, a JD, an MBA, absurd number of letters. Wow. And then, you know, I'm off course, off the traditional course. You know what I mean? My grades aren't good enough. I'm not enough organized athletics. I don't play an instrument. And all my brothers and sisters pick up the slack. They all do really well. And so, you know, I felt like, you know, my, uh, you know, really, I didn't feel great about myself. And uh, I felt, uh, I felt kind of bad about myself as I grew up. And so, you know, you talk about self-esteem being low. That was me. And then I started playing games against my brothers and sisters. Whatever game, we played a lot of games, five kids. And, uh, and I won at every game. And, you know, that was important to me because I had no self-esteem for anything else. And so when I would finally lose it to my brother at backgammon because he'd roll double sixes, double sixes, I would go crazy. Be like, God, you know, God damn it, swearing and going crazy. And I'd be like, this is unbelievable. You had to roll double sixes twice to beat me. And I became kind of a master at a world-class level of picking up games very quickly because that was important to me and my identity and my own, my own self-esteem depended on that. And wow. so, you know, those poker brat moments started when I was, you know, eight years old and 10 years old and 12 years old, not having much, you know, uh, in my backpack as far as, what my dad thought was important. And that was led to the transition to the poker, Brad. Wow. And obviously when you're playing poker, a lot of it is mental. So when you're known as the poker brat, you're probably really good at getting pe in people's heads. And that's a big part of it, right? Like, is that part of your strategy? Is that part of your game? I think I'm the only, I think I'm the only person or the only poker player on the planet that's invited to all the best games all over the country. I think that, you know, uh, you know, there's a couple of other guys that are close, but I'm invited to every game and people want to play with me. And that's amazing for me. And part of that is the poker, Brad. I still can't help it. I still lose it. I play with a, you know, kind of, I talk about the group I play with in poker, Brad, a bunch of, you know, famous billionaires. Wow. And, uh, you know, these are my best friends, my best friends in the world. And, you wow. know, for years I would lose a pot and I'd go, bah, 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 and they'd start recording it. They'd start singing songs, you know, they loved it. And, and so, I mean, part of that sadly uh, has gotten me into games, but I think that's not enough. I mean, if somebody always just acted like that, it wouldn't be enough. You know, I think that I fit in with a group and luckily I found a, a group of guys that I, that I could fit in with, you know, and I'm very proud of that group. And, um, you know, and now, you know, I, I've entered their world. You know, we did three SPACs this year. Wow. You know, one of my companies is floating at uh, one of the companies, the first SPAC, which I brought the deal together, is floating at $3.7 billion. Wow. That's DMYT. It's going to change its name to RSI, Rush Street. We did another SPAC. That company is floating at $2.25 billion. That's wow. DMYD. Name change should happen in January. Uh, we floated a third SPAC. And so that's been fun. I'm also on 12 advisory boards now. 
Wow. Uh, and I just said no to two more. Um, it's amazing for some reason, uh, people like the energy I bring and they like the fact that I see through the bullshit. And I think, you know, some of the young founders can't get to my friends. So that helps initially. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, someone saying, Hey, Phil, here's 2% of my company as an advisor. And, uh, if it's interesting, if I like it, then I'll say yes. And I just keep adding value. So, you know, I kind of, kind of in 1998, I said, listen, you know, you could make a couple hundred million dollars, uh, you know, but you're not going to do it just in poker. So I switched to my primary income business. And ever since then, you know, um, it's nice. It's been, you know, watching, watching the three stocks that I'm, I'm so involved in just in the last week or two, you know, have, have one of them basically doubled and, wow. you know, I'm making millions of dollars in the market and I, I've never, in a week, I've never done that before. And so it's because the SPACs put me in concentrated positions. Anyway, I'm going on and on, but, uh, but uh, I'm having a real good time. You've written many books. What is the inspirational, motivational message you're trying to get across in your books? Well, all right. First of all, you know, uh, my book, Positivity. Okay, this book, we just got its 100th review, which is going to be great for it. But you look at who's on the back. We have Sheryl Sandberg. You know, we have Tony Robbins. And I put Day Day on there, Draymond Green. And this book is so thin. It takes 70 minutes. It's eight life tips. And Tony Robbins was telling people in his classes to buy my book. No bigger compliment that I could have. And, you know, I talk about one of the chapters in this book talks about life goals. And, uh, you know, I talk about yearly goals and I talk about life goals. And if you look at the subtitle of this book, it's uh, you're always in the right place at the right time. And I'm teaching people that because it's important for them to know. All the billionaires, all the super successful people understand they're in the right place at the right time. The world doesn't understand that. So I'm teaching the world because can you imagine if everybody knew they were in the right place at the right time and could level up their life? And this book, I talk about how to do that, uh, which brings me to my New York Times bestselling book. So one of my lifetime goals was to write a New York Times bestseller. Seemed like an obscure thing for someone who had never had as good as a, a, a B in an English class in his life probably never had a C, put this book out in uh, 2002, 2003, 2004, hit the New York Times bestseller list. Wow. So that was just amazing for me. Incredible. And, uh, you know, and ties in to this book. And so the message I'm delivering is consistent in, you know, I'm, I'm flashing book after book, but in Poker Brat, I talk about how I learned the eight life goals. And then I kind of, isolate those eight life goals in this book, which takes 70 minutes to read. And, you know, just a takeaway for anybody watching today, write down your life goals. You know, uh, you're always in the right place at the right time. I teach people in this book. I can show you clearly why you're in the right place at the right time. That's amazing to me. And another one that you should take away from today is to write down your yearly goals, 2021 goals, write them down, could be three of them, could be 10 and tape them on your bathroom mirror. So those are three of the chapters from Positivity, and they remain consistent in Poker Brat and everything that I teach that's allowed me to, you know, um, become the man that I am and, and think big. And, and I want people watching and listening to this to have positivity, to think big, uh, to go out there and crush. Now, a recent study on the online gaming industry projects the market to bring it in over 66 billion American by the end of 2020, and for this number to grow further to 160 billion American in six years' time. How does this benefit a company like Vegas Winners? And what does Vegas Winners offer to clients? Well, Vegas Winners is great because they're exploring, you know, the information side of sports betting. Now, we just did a SPAC with uh, DMYD, that's Genius Sports. Now, Genius Sports is uh, great because they do 140,000 sporting events per year wow. and in a very nice position. So this is a different, you know, Vegas Winners is a different take on that. And we're starting to build our revenue. It's, it's not where we want it to be yet. But, you know, and that revenue is, you know, primarily on, you know, on making good sports wagers. 
and teaching people how to make good sports wagers. Very good. Now, why did you join Wayne Allen Root and become a member of the Vegas Winners Advisory Board? Why this company? You said that you're picking and choosing. You said no to a couple companies. You're part of a whole bunch of boards. Why this advisory board? Yeah, I'm on 12 advisory boards. <laughs> We've done wow. three SPACs this year. Super wow. busy. Um, that's not even my day job, but, I, but I, I love business. I guess it is my day job because you can only play poker so often. But Vegas Winners was interesting because Wayne uh, is, is a really smart guy and uh, with a big audience. And even more, we have this opportunity of sports betting being legalized in the U.S. It's falling like dominoes and state by state by state. So to me, uh, basically what we have is sports betting opening up in the states. And because it's opening up in the states, then you want to place bets on a couple of different companies. They're going to take maximal advantage of that. And and Vegas winners is you know all right. We're a little bit more of a dark horse. We're a little bit more of a long shot. But that's why the stock is cheap, you know. So we're hoping to get there. And how do you believe you can help Vegas winners grow and prosper? I mean. Every, every company, I've, uh, I've been a part of 30 different companies. Every single one will tell you that I've added more value than they could have imagined. And wow. so, you know, I've already put Wayne in touch with a few people, um, which has been nice. And I think, and I've also, you know, my agent and I have been talking about, you know, um, about ways that we can be involved in Vegas winners, uh, along with some other companies, as, as far as getting some of my sports picks and, uh, you know, I have a way of kind of helping things behind the scenes. Well, congratulations on all your success. We know that there's going to be so much more coming and it is an honor to have you on our show. Love to have you back on it again as the company evolves. Hopefully if there's any big breaking news, you could come on our show and we could break it. We could talk about it. And I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of big breaking news coming with you part of the advisory team. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on this new entity. And I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and an amazing new year in 2021. Phil Helmuth on the advisory board of Vegas winners. Thank you, Phil, for joining us. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich to be live. Have a nice day.